Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I am Stylosa and we are going to take a look at the brand new hero. It is indeed Sigma, but check this out. How cool is that? He has the, he has the little audio detail, but what is this music? What is this song? It's so cool. So what we're going to do in this video is get Sigma and just there show you his no abilities. It's so awesome. To make sense to you. Okay, cool. So... Let's bring up F1 and we'll just go over the name of the abilities to begin with, but I will show you them in more detail. So, we've got Hyperspheres, that is the primary attack, which launches two charges which implode after a short duration. We've got his ultimate, which is Gravitic Flux. We've got Kinetic Grasp, which is super cool. We've got Accretion, which is kind of like Accretion Discs, if any of you guys are into sort of astronomy and all that stuff. But yeah, you throw a big rock at someone, which we did actually suspect would be an ability. Uh, an Experimental Barrier, which again, we did suspect would be some sort of a barrier that we could move and deploy but i'm going to sh and also you will notice this is a three star difficulty hero that's right guys it is a difficult hero to play okay so whew, let's take a look at this first thing i want to show you guys is uh well it's a primary attack you see that it bounces. Now, when you fire this, it fires both of the orbs. You can't just fire one and then keep another one in reserve. So if we fire over there, well, it exploded because it hit debris. You notice it bounces? Look at that. That is super cool because you can kind of... It's going to be difficult to work out how to use this properly, I think. Like how to bounce it into locations. Oh, it damages you as well. Oh, yeah, I just damaged myself with that. Okay, cool. All right, okay, so... I'm going to throw it over there at these bots. Now, if you land both of these on the sweet spot, they do 120 damage. They do 60 damage per explosion. Now, this is according to Jeff, taken from the Seagull stream, which did give us some information on the hero uh, before we got onto PTR, which was super, super cool. So, yeah, this bounces. This is really, really cool. All right. I guess the next ability to show you guys is, um, well, we'll show the barrier, right? Watch this. Hang on. <laughs> you have to hold it down. Barrier okay. And then... Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Cool. So it's a 1500 HP barrier. And we can Retrieve take the barrier, barrier away. And then we can... Ah. Okay. So what we're doing with this is we're holding down secondary fire. So we'll press secondary fire there and it takes it away. Hold barrier down secondary fire. Barrier. Let go when I want the barrier to deploy. That is crazy. Look at that. So I guess we can just... Yeah, we can keep spamming this like crazy. That is mad. And you can see it's getting destroyed. So it's not like Orissa's barrier, where you deploy it and then it's got a certain amount of health and it never comes back. It looks like I can hold this. So I've got 706. Yeah, and it's starting to regenerate now. Okay, so when it's sort of recalled, Observe the barrier. it will regenerate. That's really cool. The but what's even more cool is you can do this. Yeah. So, you know all those Pharaoh players <laughs> that have been moaning about McCree <laughs> and D.Va? Well, I mean, yeah, you can throw the barrier into their face. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. Activating the barrier. And you could drop your barrier down. So, you could basically grab your barrier, throw it down into a choke there, go around doing your damage and whatnot, and then... Oh, what happens to the barrier? Does it disappear if I break line of sight? No, I think the barrier just stays there. Yeah. Maybe I press secondary fire. Now, also this, it kind of feels like Roadhog's secondary fire as well. You can see it exploding. So it's doing like impact and explosion damage. I guess I'll recall my shield. Okay, so the other abilities <laughs> I want to show you guys. It's so cool. This is such a cool hero, right? Also, a little tidbit of information. Um, Malga was going to be this hero. But they decided that Malga didn't really fit the kit because Malga's not really clever. As Jeff said on the Seagull stream... Um, yeah, uh, Malgus, he kind of just goes in there. We needed somebody with high IQ, so they basically invented Sigma. That's why Sigma kind of came out of nowhere. All right, okay, so E. Yeah. <laughs> so we suspected this would be an ability. So basically rips a giant rock out of the floor and throws it forward. But there's something super cool about this. Now, if you use it at point blank range, so if you use it on this guy, and just throw it right at this... Okay, I kind of missed. But I threw that that dude there, and it sort of knocked him back. But what this will do is knock back and knock down, although it's very short duration. It's almost like a really quick knock, bound, uh, knock down uh, and, and uh, knock back. But it will be more effective the more range we've got. So if we do it super close range... See? I mean, it did quite a bit of damage to that... Well, I think that bot was damaged from before. But it knocked him back. However, if we do it at range on this bot... Uh, 
guess we can chill on this bot again. You throw it at that bot, sort of throw it in. See, it knocks them much further and knocks them out. That is super cool. That is crazy. Now, the other ability I want to show you guys before we get onto the ultimate is the shift ability. It is the kinetic grasp. Now, this is like Genji's deflect and Zarya's personal bubble or projected barrier. Um, I've had a baby. And watch my shields as well. Watch this. Okay, that's not the, that's not the ability. <laughs> this is the ability. You see that? You see when the, the duration of the ability finished? I got additional shields. Now, this can give you an extra 400 shields. So you can, like, yeah, that is, that is mental. But it is temporary shield. You notice they've gone. We'll do it again in a second. This is so cool. This attack is so cool as well. It's really cool. Okay, let's do this again. So we'll wait for this bot to fire. Okay. You see we've got additional barriers. Now, this, it's kind... It's not like a D.Va's defense matrix, right? So it doesn't eat the projectiles. What it does is takes the damage away from the projectiles. So if you get hit with a Graviton Surge, and I'm, no doubt we'll find out all this out when we get the hero into the... Actually, like, we start playing him in, uh, in the roll queue beta, is... The effect will still go off. So Graviton Surge will still suck you in, but you'll just eat the damage from it. And Grav only does like, what, one damage, two damage or something? So it allows the ultimates to retain their ability while just removing the damage. So that's really cool, right? Because D.Va just eats them. Jeff did say on the Seagull stream that, yeah, they, they kind of regret that D.Va does that. Anyway, let's talk about the ultimate, right? Because uh, I'm just going to show you this, guys. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so a lot is going on there, like an absolute lot. So, the bots are bugged on the PTR, so they die in mid-air. Now, what this does, right? Well, let's just charge an ultimate off as we can just speak. Um, so, what it does is it will cause 50% damage to anybody who is caught in it after they've been pushed up into the air and slammed back down into the ground. However... When they're in the air, they are super vulnerable. It means you can smash them. Your DPS can smash them. It can be beautiful, right? <laughs> um, you can also fly, which is another huge thing, right? So you've got a choice, right? You can either try and smash people with the damage, or you can use it to get yourself into position, or you can do both. Now, Doomfist can't, can he? It was sort of compared to Doomfist's ultimate ability where, yeah, Doomfist can't can't really do that, can he? You can either disengage or engage with it, but we can do both. So let's wait for these bots to go inside, and when they come out, we'll get them. So I'm going to pop the ultimate, fly up into the air. I'm going to drop that there. We should grab this bot. Yep. Oh, it did work that time. It slammed him back down into the ground. That is a cra This is a crazy ultimate. And there's also another component I want to show you guys to this. You can actually... Drop the ultimate straight away, but then you still keep the flying, um, so the duration of the flying component. So the ultimate has a set time from start to finish, which you see in the middle of the screen. However, you can just drop the ultimate straight away and carry on flying, which is crazy. Also, this guy does so much damage. So you can trigger that as well. When you press, um, obviously, because I'm playing on PC, when I press E to fire the ability, uh, you can then press E again and it will like rapidly deploy. That, this barrier is so cool. Oh my lord, that is so cool. Yeah, so if I go E and then E again, I can chuck it a bit a bit quicker, it feels like. All right, so we're going to get the ultimate again. And I'm just going to show you how far we can fly. So I'm just going to pop it. And we're just... You can just fly in any duration. Uh, any direction. See? Actually, you, wow, that's cool. So you get more duration there. So you notice it finished. So I left it. So, oh my god, there's loads of... So, actually, there's a ton of movement there. You can fly around with the ultimate and then drop it at the very last second and you continue flying as the ultimate goes through its final duration. That is that is actually really... That is crazy. What the hell? That is crazy. Right, so that's kind of all of his kit, guys, which you can see is, is a bit mental. But there's also something else interesting. Um, he flies. He, he doesn't have shoes as well. <laughs> so he just hovers in the air. As you do, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a little... It's kind of like a passive, right? Because it means he's silent. There's no footsteps as you move around. Which is really cool. Also, apparently, because he's so tall, because he flies, he's a, uh, a foot taller than Reinhardt. He only just fits through some of the doors. So, <laughs> they were kind of worried that he might get stuck. So, let's have a look. Well, he fits through that massive door. That I mean, 
this is cool as hell. Guys, this is Sigma, and this has been a look at all of Sigma's abilities, and what we're going to do now is take him into a game, although we'll stick that in a different video. So if you guys were interested in just checking out the abilities, well, that's what this video is for. All right, guys, I've been Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. Oh. <laughs> Actually, before we leave, another point on the... Um, the Vortex, so the Kinetic, I would call it Vortex because it's kind of like uh, Titanfall. Um, the Kinetic Grasp is very much like a Genji deflect where when you see this, you're just not going to fire into it. Like, he seems to have a lot of telegraphed attacks. Like, his ulti seems crazy. I guess it's before we finish the bid because we're about to get another ulti. Like, if I pop this, you can see me flying. You're like, uh, we best get out of the way. And then when I drop that, you've got a bit of time to move. Not very much, not, not a lot of time. The bot's still moving it, but yeah, you can still get destroyed. Guys, this is incredible. This is an awesome hero. Th these are Overwatch heroes. Holy hell. All right, guys. Oh, I want to go and play him. I'm, okay, I'm going to leave the video at that. Oh, Lord. I'll catch you a little bit on the next one. Toodaloo.